Welcome back to What Are Tea Nibs with General Disturbance. This is the FD304. It's a tier 6 British SPG located on the north spawn of Abbey. This one is under the command of Beowulf. He has some letters after his name, but we'll just call him Beowulf for short. And, um, well, the battle's about to start. Okay, it's a tier 7 battle. He's tier 6 arty, so he's going to earn an extra 10% for every tier 7 he hits in XP. The FB304 was a standardised vehicle that was uh, developed to, to be a tank destroyer as well as an SPG. But uh, they designed it in 1947, built a prototype in 1950, but it never went into production. This version has the 4.5 inch howitzer, which is uh, capable of doing 450 alpha, penetrating 28 millimeters of armor and a burst radius of 2.2 meters. Now, 4.5 inch is below 15 centimeters, so technically there's no stun at all. He's looking around for a target to strike. Unfortunately, most of the targets he's aiming at are outside his range. This RT does have a rather short range so you have to get fairly close to the enemy if you want to get hits on them it's a bit like the Fifi the 105 left H 18b2 in terms of uh, the fact that uh, uh, it's got a fairly good and fast reload the only problem is of course that short range it's very short 12.94 seconds is the oh good shot 12.94 seconds is the book reload, and we can see here the Beowulf has got 10.73. A Hellcat! Right, he stopped. Now we can probably penetrate him if we get a good enough shot on him. Dial in, rounds out. Oh yes! Direct hit and a pen! 430 and the Hellcat goes down with the very next shot. So that's a really good shot, that one's earned a lot of hit points. And he got the assist because he tracked him at the same time. Rounds out the Polak. That's one of the new Yo tanks. In fact, it's a heavy tank. It's the entry level one after the uh, T1 heavy. Gets another hit on that Polak for 100. He's hitting heavy armor. You can see the shells actually landed on the front of the vehicle. And, well, I think he wants to pull back out of the uh, range of the gun. He's still getting pecked away. Go for another shot. Trying to go for the other Polak this time. Yep, that's the hit. 106. Unfortunately, for the position he's in at the moment, there is a rock that's actually in the way, so he's getting a red line there. But he's still putting the rounds in on the Polak because he's not pushing forward. If he pushed forward, he would get under the cover of that rock, but he doesn't know that. Rounds out on the other Polak. And another hit for 140. Yeah, these guys have decided, I think, that uh, it's probably not worth being up front, but he's trying to run away. Rounds out. Direct hit on his engine. Oh, he got a fire. And it took out the Porlax, so he's got his first kill. Okay, Beowulf, who's next? Yep, that's another hit for 160 this time. Non-pen, but it's uh, certainly working these guys. Oh! He fires around him just as the Porlack goes down. Now, the enemy is coming up the other channel, so he might have to move. But he's decided to back her up a little bit and try and shoot at the enemy tanks that are in the uh, grounds of the Abbey or nearby in the village. There's an M2Y down there, which is the Tier 7 Yo tank, And he gets a hit on him for 210. That's a good strike. I think I just saw the tracer from the front of the enemy arties. In fact, they've only got one enemy RT. It's an M44. Okay, he's trying to get another shot in this M2Y. Rounds out. Nice! He got another direct hit. From here to that target, it's only a short flight time of about one and a half seconds to two seconds. Rounds out the AT-15. He pulls back into cover just in time. Okay, the M2Y's going into the Abbey grounds. So we've got a tank in there already. It's a T-52. He might need to get out of there quick. Rams out. Another direct hit. Oh, and he got a fire. But we lost the T-52. But the M2Y has been badly damaged. He's down to about half his hit points now. 
and our T78 senses that he's uh, damaged and is going in to try and get some more off him. Unfortunately, it's the T78 that comes off worse, and he's dead. Another direct hit, this time for 185. That M2Y is in a very dangerous state now. He's only got a quarter of his health left. Well, quarter, about 36%, a third. Let's see if we can get another round into him. Just sitting in behind that building. You can see some enemy tanks in the enemy... Uh, cap area but it's this AT-15A that I'm more worried about now because he's going after that E-25 on our team. Rounds out. Oh it just landed in front of him. It was a good try. He tried to lead the target just enough. Reload's going in. Rounds out. That's a direct hit for 177. It helps the E-25 a little. Ah, uh, but unfortunately he goes down to the 17 pounder gun on that AT-15A. Rounds out again. Lands just behind the AT-15. And we've lost sight of the enemy. Now he's dining in where the M2Y is. And there he is. Rounds out. And another hit for 140. Leaves him perilously low on hit points. The enemy RT is coming to sight. We know where he is. Firing on the corner. Hoping he's still there. Oh, he is there! And he's just gone to a direct hit. A blind kill now for uh, Beowulf. Okay, he's moving forward. Trying to get closer to the enemy because he wants to get direct hits. There's only three enemies left. And the E25, the M44 and the AT-15A that we saw earlier. He's looking for the AT-15. There he is. Now he can do damage to this guy, and he has repeatedly damaged this guy. Going for some more. Dialing it in. Rounds out. This looks good. Oh, it goes long. RNG says no. Can we get another hit? He must still be there, surely. Is he there? Rounds out. Yes, he is still there, because we just got a direct hit on him. Okay, going to try again. Surely he must still be in the vicinity. Well, that one hit the ground, but I'm pretty sure it's certain the AT-15A is probably in that general area because we've got teammates in the cap area. There he is, eight hit points and a kill. So that's three kills now for Beowulf. There's only one enemy left. It's the M44 and we know where he is. He was last seen in the southeast corner of the map and he's just gone, which means that this is a victory for Beowulf. Here's the end of battle stats, and it's an ace tanker for Beowulf in the FB304. In fact, I do know that this is the first ace tanker, because unlike uh, what replays, Salty Jedi's uh, report sc screen actually shows that it's got the scrolls underneath, and that means it must be a first ace tanker for him. Uh, so congratulations on your first ace in the FB304. He got an arsonist because he set light to one of the tanks and it blew up. He also got a bruiser medal for getting at least five critical hits in that game. But no other medals, I'm afraid. So uh, let's have a look at the team score. Well, he did do a lot of damage. In fact, he got the second highest damage in the game because the top damage went to the M2Y, the same tank that he kept on hitting. Yep, that guy got 2,623 hit points, but didn't get 20% of the enemy hit pool, and that's why he didn't get a high caliber. The second highest in the game actually went to Beowulf with 2,459. That's why he got such a good performance in this one. And the third highest damage in the game went to the Polak tank on his own team with 2,155. When it came to kills, he shared the top spot with the Porlak tank and the M2Y on the enemy team. All had three kills apiece. And when it came to base XP, it was the Porlak tank who came off best with 1,113. The M2Y on his own team managed 1,053. And we can see that Beowulf got 918, which is very, very good for a FB304. In fact, uh, it was a good performance all round and uh, a rather unusual channel or place to actually shoot from. Uh, in that position a lot of people stay near the cap area but no nope, he was wanting to get in there get close to the enemy get good hits on them and it paid off let's have a look at detail 25 shots fired 16 direct hits on the enemy one penetration i'm pretty sure that the pen was that uh, hellcat because he was uh, 
Uh, yes, it went straight through him for 430 hit points. It was definitely the Hellcat that he penned. 21 splash on the enemy as well. 2,459 hit points of damage, of which 2,289 were at more than 300 meters. So he did get rather close to the enemy, because at least some of that damage was done under 300 meters. Six enemy vehicles were damaged, three were killed, 210 hit points of damage assist. That was the shot where he tracked the Hellcat, and one of our teammates uh, put around it and took him out of the game directly after his hit. 27,008 credits from the game after ammunition resupply, and this is really cheap ammo. He ends up with 34,262 credits profit. 918 XP, in fact it's base XP because it's the same value, times 2 for the first victory, 2,754 for personal missions payout, and took away 5,508 experience points altogether. So it just goes to show if you uh, try something in innovative, then you can come off with some good results sometimes. Beowulf getting his first ace tanker in the FB304. Now he's got a market. That's where it gets really difficult. And it's uh, no mean feat to actually do that in the FB304 because of that short range. But it is the fastest RT in the game. It's got a top speed of 72.4 kilometers an hour. And if you play it well enough, then obviously you will get spectacular results. So well done. Keep going. And I'll look forward to seeing some more excellent replays in this RT. I hope you enjoyed that replay. If you did, please give this video a like. Do subscribe to our channel. Leave a little comment down below because it feeds the algorithm. And thank you for watching.